Whatever problem you're facing right now that feels impossible, insurmountable, other words that start with I, I guarantee you 60% of the reason is because of your current mood. And that is according to science. Yep. That's my new clone. His name is Science. Thanks, Science. You can call me Sai. Nope. At least that's the way it is for me. Whenever I'm in a bad mood, it feels like forever. This isn't fun. And it's work. And it's hard. And it will be for the rest of my life. Except that's never true. It's a mood. It passes. Oh, hey, Birdie. Hi, I didn't see you there. You're a good girl. If I do the same thing later in a good mood, it's like, this is amazing. I should do this professionally. I should start a TikTok about it. I should start a company. Go public on the NASDAQ. I should call my lawyer about also, it. Also, I should get a lawyer about it. And then I should do this forever. Probably shouldn't do that either. Sorry, but yeah, you're a good girl. This is why you wait to make big decisions. That feeling you're feeling about the thing, that's not forever. So the first thing you gotta do if you wanna listen to my random YouTube Pants is recognize that moods affect you a lot. Pay attention when you're in a bad place or a misleadingly good place. You could be watching my videos right now and be like, this guy is the best. And then tomorrow, after some deep soul searching, maybe a bath, maybe an enema, you realize I'm full of shirt. Unlike you, because you just had an enema. So in this video, I compiled a list of a bunch of things you can do once you realize you're in a bad mood and you feel like your bad mood is forever to get out of that. But first, a disclaimer to make me seem like a good person. I am not a doctor. I am quite great at Dr. Mario, but this video is about quick fixes that might help you get out of a little funk. They're not about long-term solutions to depression or mood disorders. For that, you should talk to a professional, not some incredibly handsome dude you just found on YouTube. And one more disclaimer, a fluctuation of mood is inevitable, and maybe the solution is just to let time pass. I'm not trying to hijack human nature here, but I do think some of these things can help you a little bit. So, first, quick exercise. I'm not talking about like a long exercise routine, although science has shown that that can reduce depression, right science? Yippers! No, I'm talking about like quick things, like jumping jacks, sit-ups, push-ups, punch something soft, like an eagle. <laughs> One thing that really helps me, even though it seems silly, pacing. Just walking back and forth. It actually makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm ready, you know? Gah. I'm telling you, you should really try it. Right now, go ahead, I'll wait. Uh-huh, good job. Whoa, watch out for the whatever sound effects I put in here when I'm editing. Oh no, ooh, that one sounded real bad. You could also try pacing with style, also known as dance. I don't know if I would call what I just did style. It's more like a wobbly two by four. I don't know. China and I did dancing every day for a month and it might felt good. <laughs> See, I backed it up with proof from me from the past. Another thing, yoga. I work towards bringing your belly towards the top of the thigh. Back. That obviously makes you feel good, duh. But again, you don't have to do a full routine. Maybe just do a couple poses. Child's pose. Downward dog. This one I just made up. Let's not think too much about what the shape looks like. Just move around a little bit. Just get that blood flowing. It carries oxygen to the, your, your, your brain because when the blood stops flowing, the moods start Showing? Not everything has to rhyme. And if you're interested in moving around in a more full exercise routine, as science has said, is helpful both physically and mentally, and you need some expert help, well, this just seems like just the right time to talk about the, the sponsor of this video, doesn't it? Copilot, a one-on-one -on -one fitness and nutrition experience. I have been using Copilot for more than a year. It has changed my life. Why are these called burpees? My trainer, Nate, he's a good guy. I talk to him on a regular basis right here in the app and in person. Why do they call it burpees? It's actually named after the person who invented it. He tailors exercise routines to what I want. Give you little videos on how to do stuff. There's a beard lover leaderboard right there. I'm currently in 12th place. It seems like as we get more members, my place goes down. So maybe don't join. Currently my knee has been hurting a bit. Whenever I got old man pains before, I would just shout at the heavens. Why is this hurting? But now I shout at him. Why is this hurting? And he has ways to help me. The heavens never have any ways to help me. It really does make me feel better. This is a great way to improve your mood. This is why I typically will ask people to just start the first five minutes of the work. Go. By the time you start going, you're like, wait, why wasn't I doing this before? <laughs> yeah, you're hiring a personal trainer, but for a lower cost than you would for a regular personal trainer. You can click my link below and get a 14 day free trial. Not like a trial, but like a trial for free. Might as well try it. Okay, thank you, Copilot. Back to the list of ways to help you improve your mood. Do something stupid, like watch a Wheezy Waiter video. <laughs> Well, that might help. Especially an old one, because they're real short and real stupid, usually. I don't mean to imply that the new ones aren't stupid, sorry. Give yourself a hug. Oh, I love you! And kiss. Mwah. French kiss. Mwah. Never learned to stop making noise when I French kiss. Mwah. Laugh. 
I'm in the middle of a month-long challenge where I laugh for five minutes every day. Actually, that video came out before this one. Why am I so stupid? Here's a little preview. Okay, now pretend you're talking on a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> The point is, forcing yourself to laugh can end up feeling just as good as real laughter. Draw a picture of something stupid. Like my face. <laughs> so good! Self-deprecating humor. Or draw something naughty. Like my face. Or my yoga pose. Or an overdue library book. Or drinking milk from the carton. Oh. Other stupid things? Take your arms out of your sleeves and make your shirt go 360. Harder than I thought. No, stupid. Okay, moving on. Writing. Write a list. It could be a list of accomplishments. It's surprising how easy it is to forget all the awesome things we've done. Or a gratitude list. Write down all the people and things in your life you're grateful for. This always makes you feel better. Gets me out of my own stupid head with my own stupid problems. Or back to doing something stupid, just write a list of stupid things. Like a list of all the movies with dog in the title that aren't about dogs. Dog Day Afternoon, Reservoir Dogs, Dogville, Lords of Dogtown, Dogs of War, Life is a Dog, Straw Dogs, Mad Dog Time, Mad Dog and Glory, and Craig Dog, the current autobiographical movie I'm working on. Hello, Craig from the future here. While editing this, I can't believe I forgot to mention the 2021 film, The Power of the Dogs. So it's the top 11. But Mr. Cumberbatch, why are you wasting your time with Oscar caliber movies? Get back to season five of Sherlock. Thank you. You just watched me list all those things and you feel better now, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I see your tail wagging. 78% of my audience is dogs, which makes advertising pretty rough. <laughs> Moving on. Write a journal entry. I've done several videos about journaling. I always feel better getting my crappy and uncrappy ideas down on paper. It doesn't have to be well written. It doesn't even have to make sense. You don't have to save it. You can just throw it away. You just write the word f over and over again. You know what? Do that. Publish it. Has anyone ever done that for a book? You know what? I must have read a book like that before. I swear. <laughs> Next on the list, complete a small task. I did uh, the 10 minute rule video. <laughs> The rule is simple. Just say you're gonna do a thing for 10 minutes. The 10 minute rule is super effective because yes, if you get started, it might just motivate you to keep going longer than 10 minutes, but even if you don't, you still feel like you accomplished something. Accomplishments are like pooping. They feel good. Also, pooping is an accomplishment. Anyway, adjust your environment. Clean. Maybe it's because I'm getting old, or maybe it's because I sit at a desk most of my day, but I actually enjoy cleaning now. It puts me in a good mood. Organizing things, loading and unloading the dishwasher. I actually, halfway through that, I feel so alive. It's stupid. And I also like it when things are clean. So it's a double whammy. Also, cleaning requires moving around. Exercise. Triple wham! You can listen to music. Here, I'll put on some music right now. Yeah, that is nice music, probably, whatever I decide to put in there. That is put me in a good mood. Mm, and so royalty-free. Oh, it sounds so royalty-free. I love it. Often I'll be working and then like a lot of time has gone by and I'm like, oh, I forgot to turn on music. Except I can't turn on music when I'm editing video. Luckily, I get to listen to the music of my voice. Which is why I usually talk like this in my videos. Next on the list, you can also adjust your lighting. Yeah. I'll wake you up. All these things seem pretty obvious. Music, lighting, changes your mood, but it's stuff that you don't always think about when you're in a terrible mood. So I'm here to remind you. Hey, remember, that's this stuff, okay? You can also light a candle. In addition to lighting, it will drown out your rank odors. And people say good smells can affect your mood. Good smells, more like good smiles. <laughs> oh God. That one really hurt, oh God. Next on the list, doing what I call a transition. Move to a new location or go wash your face. <laughs> that worked a lot better than I thought it would. Or go take a cold shower. <sighs> take your contacts out and put your glasses on. Put on different clothes. Be naked if you're not in public or if you want to get arrested. That's a good transition. Get a divorce. Wait, that's not, that's... Uh, that's a little bit much. I'm not saying divorce should be off the table for you. I have no idea what your situation is, but we're just talking about changing your mood a little bit here. Moving on. Contact someone. Get out of your big dumb head with your big dumb stupid problems. Send a text. Let someone know that you care about them. Send a compliment. Again, we did a video about sending compliments to people for a month. I'm glad I did it every time. It was good to hear from everyone that I reached out to. Absolutely. One of them just responded to me. Nice. Someone I haven't talked to in a long time and now we're gonna have regular correspondence. That'd be great. Send a dumb gif that someone will think is funny. Maybe they'll send back a dumb gif and then it'll just be a gif off. Just remind yourself that you're not alone in this big, 
crazy mixed up world kid. Speaking of being in the world, final thing on the list, be present. You knew this one was coming, like mindfulness stuff. Meditation, which I did a video about. Feel good, feel calm. This is nice. Progressive muscle relaxation, which was in a video. You go through several muscle groups and you tense them up for five seconds and you breathe in and then you let it out. Breathing exercises, which I might do a video about. Belly breathing, which is a really healthy way to breathe and a lot of us don't do it. And here's how you do it. Well, you can do it anywhere at any time, but this is how you train yourself to do it. Lay flat, hand on belly, hand on chest, breathe in. Feel your belly rise up and down. Well, your belly's not gonna rise down, but you know what I mean. Your belly should move when you breathe because then the oxygen gets deeper down in your lungs. Science. Yes? Not you! Oh. Why are you just standing over there anyway? Working on science things. Me things. And you know, maybe you're just tired and you need a nap. Maybe you're in a place where you can't take a nap. Well, <sighs> then you're just gonna probably have to wait. Sorry, maybe watch my video on sleep and you can get better sleep at night and then you won't need a nap, I don't know. And finally, do nothing. I mean, I'm reading a book about that and I'll probably make a video about that too. Make a video about everything because I got nothing else to do. I'm always looking for content. It's the world we live in. Everybody wants the content. Get the content makes them content and then- So maybe if none of this works, you just need to do nothing and Give it time. Let the feeling flow through you. And a close-up reminder that if you click the co-pilot link below, you get a 14-day free trial with your own expert fitness and health coach. Bet you didn't know I could talk with my nostrils. Hopefully some of these ideas helped. If you'd like to learn some tricks about how to sleep better, uh, that put that video on the screen. Nah, maybe a, a video that YouTube thinks you'll like and you can support me on Patreon and I don't know why I'm talking like this. I should be singing so that I can have music while I edit videos.